Kanye West is widely regarded as one of the best rappers out there. And he's also a mogul as well. So he's got his Yeezy like range, which is a designer. He was also married to Kim Kardashian reality star for a long time but he did hits like gold digger he was really really like massive massive rapper um but unfortunately he has made some extremely bad comments he has been accused of being anti-semitic which he has been um and as a result of this he went on these rants about um saying that jewish people run the world and calling them out for it as a result a lot of the brands that he's associated with the line with companies have dropped him. Oh. And so what happened is he lost $2 billion in a day. $2 billion? $2 billion was wiped off his work is in a how day. Much sponsorship he gets? Honestly, wow. I've got a list of people who dropped him. Adidas, Balenciaga, TJ Maxx, JP Morgan will no longer bank with him, Foot Locker, UGG, Gap. Um, even his... Uh, his management agency, his, his, uh, his agents have dropped him. The lawyers, the law firm that dealt with his divorce and acted on his behalf, they've dropped him. It's really, really bad because the stuff he put out there was awful. So it all stemmed from beginning of October. I don't know if you heard about this, but he had this uh, Paris fashion show for his Yeezy range and shock to everyone, all the models came out wearing T-shirts with White Lives Matter on the back of them. That's obviously seen really badly. It's anti the kind of Black Lives Matter movement. As a result of that, a lot of prominent black rappers got in touch with him and said, please stop doing this, you know, you've got to not do this. He then went on Instagram, which he does a lot, and was posting conversations between each other. One conversation was from Puff Daddy, P Diddy, another rapper, massive star, who basically was like, please stop doing this, you know, this isn't good, you know, well, let's talk. And in response, he said to him, and I quote, um, show the Jewish people that told you to call me that no one can threaten or influence Ooh, me. Oh, he's got a problem, hasn't he? His Instagram was shut down. So then he went to Twitter and he tweeted, and I quote, I'm going to go death con three on Jewish people. So this is why all these brands yeah. and labels have completely yeah. shut down. It's yeah. about two billion off him. And then as a result of all this, a really, an amazing agent in America, Ari Emanuel, he represents like The Rock, you know, Oprah Winfrey. He did an op-ed in the Financial Times and in it basically said, look, these brands have got to step away from Kanye West. We cannot allow to give him a platform and say that we support this. And that's why they've all stepped away. And as a result of this op-ed, Kanye West said, I've lost two million. It's fine. It's all love. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the people. Um, and the only brand that's really stuck by him in a way is Spotify, because they've said that his music doesn't violate their policy. And that's why and they're, they're just judging him on his music. Platform. Exactly. I mean, is he an idiot or something? I think I mean, he's not well. Well, this is the thing. He has bipolar, but... Bipolar and any mental disorder doesn't give you a free pass to go and spout hate speech no, and, 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 you know, push out these awful, you know, views and this anti-Semitic views and stuff. Um, you know, he keeps going with this, even though social media was shut down. He was then going on interviews in America and these very white, right-wing podcasts and saying the same type of thing. So extreme, in fact, that they couldn't put any of it out there. And some of it's leaked, but a lot of it hasn't come out. His ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, she's actually put out a statement against this and said, I condemn hate speech, all kinds. Um, I stand with the Jewish people and I hope that this stops as quickly as possible type thing. So it's really played out badly for him and he keeps going with it. It's like there's no stopping him. Someone needs to take his phone away from him. Yes, yeah. clearly. Yeah. Um, he, he does sound unwell, really. I think he? he's probably unwell, to be fair. But which got is... too much money to stop. But this is a man with 18 million Instagram followers. There are only 15 million Jewish people in the world. So it's like, wow, this imbalance of what he can say and put mm. out there. Yeah. Um, and as a result, there has been a, an uprising in America of anti-Semitic acts, people hanging banners saying yeah. Kanye's right about Jewish people. Awful. Yeah. Awful. Dreadful.